In this lesson, we're going to begin filling in the gaps of the face. All right, so we're just trying to get polygons on the screen, and we're trying to conform it to the shape of a face. And we're doing pretty well up to this point. Now we're starting to get some polygons that we're not necessarily sure of which direction they should be going. We're trying to match it to the reference image. Now if we look at this, and we look at the shape of the face, this edge right here is exactly where the head or the jaw is being formed. Now the next edges that are going to be coming into this are going to be pushed in a little bit to create this ridge that you see under the jaw. And this actually goes up underneath the chin itself and loops under, which is what we've created here. Now what we need to do at this point is we need to take these vertices that are on the front and start conforming those into the shape of the jaw. So I'm going to pull this down and you'll see that that begins to flatten out. I'm going to pull it over in the X and it's going to loop around into that chin. Okay. So here we're creating the shape underneath the chin itself. We'll take this vertex and we're going to pull that over in the X and we'll take this one and we'll pull it forward in the Y a little bit. Pull this one forward and just trying to get this to round out a little bit more. Okay, so that knows exactly where it's going to go. So it's going to flow up into these polygons, and these are all going to come down into this area. That's why we have these larger polygons. And then we have this part of the face, which we could actually pull out a little bit on all of these vertices. So they should start to turn into that jaw shape. Okay, and there we go. So we've uh, started working with these. Let me pull this one down in the Z a little bit more and that should give us a nice transition. Now if we turn off vertex mode and go to turbo smooth you can see exactly what that's going to look like, how that's going to go into the rest of the head. Um, let's go ahead and go to uh, vertex mode really quickly, or edge mode, excuse me, and let me select this edge right here and go to my front view. I want to make sure that that is following along with the contour of the face here. So you can see that we're following along with our reference image and it's doing pretty well so we're going to go ahead and leave it just the way it is so now let's start filling in some gaps here uh, first and foremost uh, to fill in this large gap would be pretty easy because it should all be quads and they should all flow into one another we might have a little bit of an issue once we start getting up around the eye because now we need to start figuring out exactly where these uh, different loops are going to be going. So to get started uh, with this, I'm going to go to edge mode and I'm going to select this edge and this edge and we're going to bridge that. Okay, and that's going to create that loop that goes right up into the top of the head there and then I'm going to take this edge and this edge and bridge that. So that's pretty simple. We got rid of the hard part fairly quickly. But now uh, we have a little bit of an issue where this edge needs a place to go and it should loop up and around the head. So if I bridge that, that's okay, but there's quite a large polygon right in here. And I just don't feel comfortable uh, with that the way that it is. So what I could do is I can go to my Swift Loop tool, and I can cut that in half. And if I hold down Shift, it's going to bring that eye down a little bit and conform to that shape, and then it's going to bring that cheek out. Now I'll have to come in and do a little bit of tweaking here and there for the eye socket itself, but that should be pretty good. Now with this polygon right here, that turns into a one of those stars that we were talking about. And we could go ahead and leave it just the way it is because we're going to take this loop down and we're going to fill in the rest of the face. So with our loop, our swift loop still on, let's come in and let's create a loop right here holding down shift. Let's create one here, still holding down shift. And that's going to connect to right here. And then this is going to come down into here. And this is going to go across. So let's go ahead and start getting exactly what we know. So I'm going to go to Freeform, Poly Draw, Extend, or you can hit Control Shift, Alt X um, if you're using those custom keyboard shortcuts. And then we'll hold down Control Alt, left click and drag and we'll start connecting those polygons together. Now this one will go down to here and then now we just have this small gap. So here I can go to border mode 
and cap, we'll go to vertex mode and start cutting this geometry. So I can cut from here to here. And then now we have a quad, but it's a very odd uh, looking quad. So we can cut from here to here. Okay, and then we have a very large set of polygons. Uh, this can be a little difficult to work with. Um, if we go into Turbo Smooth, you'll see that we get all kinds of different patterns here, and that just doesn't flow very well. Um, looking at this right here, we might have a couple of vertices on top of one another, so let's hit Weld. And let's go back to Turbo Smooth. And that does get a little bit better, but I really don't like that shape. I want to try to stick with quads as much as possible. So the loops just really aren't working out all that well. If I come in and I go to target weld and weld that from there to there, uh, we, we get something that's a little bit better, a little bit easier uh, to work with. But again, it's just elongating that set of polygons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a, a loop that goes up through the top of the head here. So let's go to edge mode and select that entire ring and then I'm going to hold down Alt and deselect all of these edges across the face and the nose and let's use loops, flow connect and then I'm going to right click and cut from here to here. I'm going to take this edge, control backspace and there we go. So you can see that those loops are now coming down into the face and everything is looking great, much, much better. Um, the only thing that I'm uncomfortable with is the size of these polygons right here. Uh, this can be taken care of very easily by just taking these vertices and pulling those a little bit closer and just splitting those polygons in size. Don't, don't forget that you can just come in and redistribute the size of those vertices. Okay, and redistribute, all that means is just to, um, to move points. Okay. All right, so I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to try to alleviate that shape a little bit. Pulling those around. And so far we're looking pretty good. Okay, if I come in and I go to Turbo Smooth, Everything looks nice and neat, um, and I can deal with that. There's plenty of room for that to deform properly. All right, so now that we have uh, that set of loops, let's go ahead and continue uh, inside of the face here. Now, this is going to be a little more difficult, a little more challenging, because we have all of these small segments uh, coming in here, and they're going into these larger segments here in the cheek. So we may have to do a little bit of thinning out. So uh, let's just come in and get exactly what we know we can get. So let's go to um, Freeform, Poly Draw, Extend. I'm going to hold down Control Alt and left click and drag these points. And we're going to try to get all of these together. So here uh, we're going to have a little bit of an issue. I'm going to go ahead and go to Edge Mode. I'm going to select these two edges and hit Control Backspace. Let's go ahead and um, hit 3 on the keyboard to go to our border mode and select that border and we'll cap that. Let's go to vertex mode and cut and we'll cut from here right down through the middle of that and you'll see that we created two quads. Now all I have to do is just come in and take these these points and pull those out a little bit more. Okay, and just kind of help with that the shape of that loop. All right, so now we have our face, um, at least to the uh, the cheek here, or the lip. And now we're starting to kind of look at this, and we're starting to lose some of the shapes uh, that we need um, in the face. So like here on the upper lip, um, into the cheek, some, some of these shapes might be getting a little bit larger and a little out of place. So you just want to come in and just kind of check your silhouette and just kind of check the edges and the shape of the face and start to pull those points around a little bit. Another thing that might help is by selecting the element, which is all the polygons in this uh, character's head, and going down to your smoothing groups 
and hitting clear all and then setting those to a single smoothing group. And whenever you're in editable poly mode, you can start to see what that's going to be shaped like and start uh, seeing areas that are going to be some problems and start moving those points accordingly. Now let's fill in the rest of these gaps here. So I'm going to go to border mode and I'm going to cap this. Let's go to vertex mode and cut. And this one is going to be a little difficult. Uh, we, we can come here we can cut down, turn that into a quad, and then uh, we can go ahead and cut up here. But what you're going to notice is that we have this segment right here, which is going to be important for the shape of our nose. So in order for this to work properly, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut from here down the middle of this quad. And it's going to create another set of loops that come around the face, which is going to be just fine uh, because we need to make sure that we have plenty of shape or plenty of loops down here in the face itself. So I'm just going to cut down to this point. And then I'm going to go to Poly Draw Extend, hold down Alt and Control, left click and drag these uh, points together. And then we'll come in to our left view and we'll start to shape this out a little bit better. So as you can see, whenever you're building a character's face, it's about just getting polygons on the screen, getting them in place, and then you'll start to move and tweak the overall shape. Okay. You know exactly where the loops are going to be and you can start to see where you want those to connect but you're always going to have a set of challenges uh, depending on the form that you want in any character's face. Um, I'm also going to select these edges, that ring there, and we'll do loops, flow connect, okay, and then we'll go to freeform, poly draw, extend, and we'll go from this edge to that edge. And actually, you know what, let's do this. Um, let's see. Let's just come in and select that border. And then we'll cap it. Go to vertex mode and cut. And I'll cut from here first to here. And then I'll cut across to here. So there we have that loop. And then all we need to do now is come in and start uh, pulling these points around. Let's turn on our edge constraint and I'm just going to pull these down and I'm trying to get these polygons to be around the same size. Just trying to redistribute those vertices and spreading this out a little bit. Okay. And let's take this one. Let me pull that one up there. Okay. So just kind of start to uh, move those points around. Now, looking right here, I've got an extra edge that I didn't see before. And that was from this loop right here. And we need to go ahead and just get rid of that. So hit Control Backspace. And then I'm going to take that edge and pull it forward in the Y. And it should constrain to that edge. Go to vertex mode and let me pull that one back up. Okay, so that looks good. Got plenty of shape uh, going in the face and into the mouth. And uh, now all we need to do is we need to build the lips and we need to build the uh, the nose and then we can start working into the back of the head and the skull and then we'll start to connect that into the neck and then we'll start working on the ear and then the hair from there. So we're coming down to the home stretch here. So in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and finish out the nose and the lips, and then we'll get started with the rest of the head. So I'll see you then.